Hey guys, uh, let's talk about it. My name is Pastor Donna Bogan, newly designated pastor of Christian Church of God in Christ. And I decided to do a segment called Questions from a Pastor. And I hope that you participate in the comments below. Hopefully this can be a great series. Topics for today. Is it a sin for women to wear pants in or out the church? Let's see what other people are saying. Let's get into it. Shut up, it is not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. A woman must not put on men's clothing, and a man must not wear women's clothing. Anyone who does this is detestable in the sight of the Lord your God. Deuteronomy 22 to 5, this holy scripture is true from the Holy Bible. Guys, so that's the question. You see what some people believe, and you see the scripture that is being used. So here's another question before I give you my thoughts. If it's dealing with men and women clothing, what about high heels? Did you know where high heels came from? The symbol of femininity have an unexpected origin steeped in practicality and power. Their earliest known appearance dates back to ancient Egypt, around 3500 BC, where heels were worn by both genders. But it was 15th century Persia where heels became essential for cavalrymen. They wore heels to secure their feet in stirrups, ensuring better stability when firing arrows. The trend soon spread to Europe as a sign of masculinity and high status. European noblemen of the 1600s adopted the fashion, flaunting their heeled shoes as symbols of their privilege. It wasn't until the late 18th century that heels became predominantly a women's accessory. Confused yet? So you're probably scratching your head and asking yourself, well, how did they get that from that scripture? Well, here's the thing, something called hermit nudis, where we can even go deeper than that exegesis, exegesis, it all deals with the explanation of interpreting the Bible for one perspective. Let me show you. Third party reading the exact same words, however, they don't know the author, they don't know the original audience, and they take a different meaning from the same words. We now have three things at play, the author, the text, and the reader of the text. Now, these two readers come away with different meanings from the same text. When we read the Bible, we're kind of, in a way, picking up a letter intended for an original audience, and we're trying to pull our own meaning out of it. Now, let's make this even more complicated, because we are the third party who he didn't know, the Apostle Paul did not know who Ethan Renault is, or who you are, and yet, we read it and assume that we can draw some kind of understanding from it. The picture is becoming clearer now. So the study of Herman Nudis, Iso Jesus, Esther Jesus is basically how one interpret the Bible. The literal word, uh, the intention, the literal interpretation from Greek, Hebrew to English. Your interpretation matters. And so when one is rightly dividing the word, you have to go deeper. So I know you're asking yourself, all right, what is your opinion? Let me show Just you what I believe. Read verse five, they won't read another verse in the chapter. Let me read just one other verse. Look with me to verse 11. Let's read that one. Thou shalt not wear a garment of divers sorts. Now wait a minute, the word divers means different. In other words, it's saying thou shall not wear a garment that has different materials. If you wear silk, wear all silk. If you wear cotton, wear all cotton. If you wear linen, wear all linen. It said thou shall not wear, read it, a garment of divers sorts as of woolen and linen together. Now if verse 5 meant pants, and if a woman that wears pants is going to hell, then the rest of the women in the church are going to hell for wearing two kinds of fabrics. <laughs> 